welcome 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 it's midweek i pray you're safe you're sound and you're using your mind i hope you had a great thanksgiving i did mine was very well spent it most of it cooking um took a little nap afterwards but made sure the family ate and enjoyed so i have a message for you listen up let's pray father god Lord, I thank you, Lord God. I honor you, Lord God. You are worthy of all honor, of all praise, and of all glory. I keep none to myself, O oh Lord. Lord, thank you for your power, for your truth, and for your understanding. Father, I ask you to go into homes, minds, and hearts, Cleanse them, O oh Lord. Renew the right spirit within them, O oh Lord. And I call it done in Jesus' name. Father God, I submit myself to you. Use me. And it's in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Got a message for you. It's for our youth. The message is that God has given me. We must not leave our youth defenseless. Defenseless. The definition is without protection or a means of protection. I have Proverbs 29:14. If a king judges the poor with truth, his throne will be established forever. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. And 1 Peter 5, 5. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to the elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another. And be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. That's a lot in those three scriptures. But we must not leave them defenseless. We must tell them the truth about this world. It is not as safe as it used to be. It is not. And that is what... We need to be telling them. Okay. The truth. That is. That it is not safe. To call everyone. A friend. Because that's not. The truth. We must help them. See the truth. In all things whether that is something that they are dealing with mentally or physically whether that is something that they need clarity on or not whether it's on their job at school at home whatever it is we must not leave them defenseless we must help them to figure out what the truth is by examining things okay 
they should be able to know what the truth is by looking closely, listening as well, and making a guess, calculated guess, once they have all available information and being able to make a sound, logical decision. Okay? And we must instruct them, okay, that they need to be doing this thing in all matters. They need to do this and teach them. The Lord is instructing us to teach our children. Just as he teaches us, he's instructing us to teach them in all matters. Children, you must listen to your elders. They know. You're thinking, oh, they don't know what's going on. You know, they know, they know, they know. They've seen it before. They have seen it before. The false friends, the fake friends, the ones that only come around on payday, the ones that only need a ride when you got a full tank of gas and you can't find them when you need a ride. Huh? The ones that want you to go party with them, but they don't have no money, right? Right? Yeah, they done seen it all. Pay attention. You cannot, cannot call everyone a friend just because they seem friendly. And I said seem. Because you surely don't know them underneath. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention and search out the truth for yourself, okay? If they are giving you mixed signals, pay attention. Because those mixed signals can save your life. One minute they're saying, let's go somewhere. And the next minute they're saying, oh no, I'm not going to go with you. I'm going to go with this other friend of mine. And then they call you back again and say, no, come on, you go with us too. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay? The mixed signals are speaking to you. And listening to your elders will save your life. It will. I have had to talk to my children on numerous times about paying attention to the things their friends were doing or not doing, okay? And we have to be willing to listen sometimes to advice. Timely advice. Timely advice can save your life and your sanity if you'll pay attention. We must not only teach them about the red light, the yellow light, the green light, the stop signs on the road, but we must also teach them the signs of a false 
friend. A friend that is a wolf in sheep clothing. We must teach them to listen to their minds and to hear their hearts when it is off the beaten path because there is something amiss. There is something more they're not seeing. They're feeling it, but they're not seeing it. They're experiencing it. They just can't put their finger on it. There is something there and they must pay attention. We must teach them to pay attention and heed the signs of deception, which can come in the form of a conversation, just a word, or an action. Don't leave our youth defenseless out here. Help them to see beyond what they see. Okay? Help them see beyond it to discern the difference between truth and a lie. I pray this message blesses you. But more so, I pray it meets you right where you are. And have those conversations with the youth. Help them save their own lives. Know that Father God loves you. And so do I. Yes, I do. Sending you love, light, and healing energy. Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.